hello and welcome to my next lesson for composition. Today we are going to deal with a very nice chord progression 1-5-1 one, one, in order to write a melody. Let's start. You see on the screen our chords. This is the C major in the second inversion based on the fifth as our first chord. The second chord is G major seventh. Okay, and the last chord, the resolution, is again um, our C major now in root position. So again, one, five, and one. Okay, so before we start to write our melody in the right hand or compose, we have to consider two things. For our melody we need something like scale notes or a scale and a rhythmic pattern. Let's start with the first aspect. This is our C major chord and we are looking now for any scale notes which go well with this chord. For example, it, you could use of course all white keys but now I would say let's select C, D, E, G, A, B, C, and so on, also in the higher registers. You see in here that you have black and red notes. Red notes uh, mean that you should start your piece with this primary note. So you can start your piece with C or E or G or C or with all these notes when playing a chord. Okay? So the second chord was the G major 7th and this is the scale. So I'm using something like a G major but uh, I take out the 7th. So it's um, disturbing for me. Okay. And for the uh, last one, this is the resolution, we should use one of our primary notes or all primary notes. Um, so C, E, G, C, E, G, C, E, G, C. Okay. Okay, so we have already found our scale notes for each chord. Now, next question, the next aspect is the rhythmic pattern. For the first melody I would um, recommend something like uh, this. So this is our rhythmic pattern. Now you can see how I um, connect this rhythmic pattern with any scale notes in order to compose our first melody. Look. Okay, so I think it's very nice. Mm, there are one thing you should know. Here there is something like a call and this are uh, these two bars. This is a call, so this is a first musical phrase. So you present something and now you respond to your for, to your listener. Okay, and okay, let's uh, uh, move forward to our next melody and our next rhythmic pattern. Now we change the time signature and we shorten a little bit this piece. So this is the rhythm. Okay, and this is our melody number two. Let's take a closer look and we are looking now for our call and for our response. This is our call and now our response is similar to the call but 
a little bit modified. And we finish our piece on E, of course, on the primary notes, as we said, C or E or G or C. And in a last example, you can see how I'm using intervals, a six. Beautiful. So, where is the call? Here is the call. And back, here is our response. Yeah, you see, this is a... it's not... so I'm, I don't use here primary notes, finally, so no C nor E or G or C, it's, it sounds a little bit dissonant, but it's still very nice. Okay, so you can break sometimes the rules, as you see. Okay, that's everything for today. Thank you very much for your attention. You can download these notes in the comment line below and practice a little bit for yourself. I wish you a nice day and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.